Hey friends, so today we're gonna talk about why mastering SQL and learning advanced topics in SQL is essential and game changer, especially if you are planning to be data analyst, data scientist, or a data engineer. And at the end, I'm gonna show you a roadmap on how to master advanced topics in SQL. So let's go. So now let's start with the question, why you must master advanced topics in SQL? The first reason, SQL is everywhere. I can tell you from my experience, I worked over a decade working with big data projects in big companies in different sectors, energy, TV, media, car manufacturing like Mercedes-Benz, and all the companies around the world, they all share the same thing. They store their data in relational databases. That means in order for you to interact, to speak to the company's data, you have to learn the language and that is SQL or we call it SQL. So my friends, that means companies store their data in relational databases and you have to master their language in order to interact and to talk to the company's data. Now moving to my reason number two, SQL is in all platforms and you can use it for any analytical tasks. Most of the companies, they understood how important is data for decision making and for business and they started utilizing big data and analytical platforms. And now almost all platforms offers for the users an interface where the users go and write very simple SQL queries to do very advanced analytical tasks. Let's have a few examples. Usually the first task in any data projects is that you're gonna go to the source system and start extracting data. So the sources are usually a database. That means you're gonna go and write an SQL queries in order to pull the data out of the source system and move it to another platform. And of course you can do that with many platforms like Azure Data Factory, Databricks or Talent. And now after we extracted the data from the source systems, we can do countless amazing stuff with the data like building data processes, ETLs, streaming. We can go and check the data quality. We can go and build a modern data warehouse, data lakes, data lake houses. We can do use cases like machine learning, data mining, AI, and we can do all those stuff using an engine like Spark Engine. And now all the modern platforms like Databricks, Snowflake, Azure Synapse, they all offer Spark Engine. And we have something called Spark SQL. So that means my friends, with very simple SQL query, you're gonna go and solve complex advanced analytics using the Spark engine, but only the interface in order to have abstraction from that complexity, the users are allowed to use only SQL using these platforms. And of course, if we are talking about the world of data visualizations and the business intelligence, we can go and use platform like Tableau and there they offer an interface where you can go and write SQLs in order to prepare the data before starting using it for data visualizations and analytics. So that means if you are doing any data projects in companies, you're gonna go and use their big data and analytical platforms. And mostly you're gonna go end up writing SQLs in order to solve advanced and complex analytical problems. Okay, so now moving on to my reason number three, SQL is in high demand. Obviously, because of the previous reasons, now if you go and search for any data related jobs, you're gonna find in the job description that mostly they are searching for SQL qualifications. Let's search for a few jobs. Okay, so now let's check for example, Nvidia, they are searching for data scientist and one of the skills here is SQL. Now let's move to Mercedes-Benz. As you can see, we are searching for IT data scientist and one of the skills here again, SQL. And now let's move on to Amazon. Let's see if they need a data engineer. Let me check the skills. Ah, again, they are asking for SQL skills. And now let's do one more jump to Apple. As you can see, they are looking for camera software data analyst. And again here, the first key qualification, they are asking for SQL. So guys, as you can see, all data related jobs in all companies for all data projects, they're gonna require you an SQL skills. So SQL is simply in high demand. And now you might ask me, you know what Para? SQL is only for developers and programmers. I don't have to learn it. Well, I can tell you in any data projects, everyone can use SQL. So it's not only for programmers. I saw a lot of business analysts, like data analysts, data experts, process experts, and even managers querying the data using SQL in order to make decisions. So it's not only for programmers. And now if you are a programmer, you might say, wait, wait, 
Para SQL is very old, 45 years old, there are many new stuff. No SQL, Python, R, well, I totally agree with you, they are amazing stuff, but as we saw, in any data projects, in any job related projects, they gonna ask you for SQL and you gonna use SQL in your projects. So my friends, there is no way around it, you must master SQL. Alright friends, so now we're gonna move to the second point where I'm gonna show you a roadmap on how to learn and master advanced topics in SQL. So let's have a look. So we're gonna kick off things by preparing your PC. We're gonna go and download and install SQL Server, SMSS and data of course. So we're gonna go and create three databases in order for you to practice with me SQL. And after getting your PC prepared with softwares and data, we're gonna start immediately with the most important group of functions for analytics we're gonna have the window functions. So we're gonna go and cover 15 different window functions. This is gonna help you in order to do complex and advanced analyses using SQL. Now moving on, we're gonna learn how to combine and compare different data sets using the set operators. So we're gonna learn union, union all, accept and intersect. And after that, we're gonna say hello to the conditional logics using case statements. They are very simple, but yet very powerful in order to manipulate and generate new informations using SQL. And after that, we're gonna learn how to handle the tricky nulls to improve data quality and to make sure that our data analyzes delivering correct results. And now moving on, we're gonna learn how to manipulate quickly the date and time columns because usually many use cases and many analytics depends on columns like date and time. And now in the next topic, we're gonna focus on the sub queries. In real projects, we end up having really complex queries, so it will not be only one query. So we have to learn how to nest one query in another one using subqueries. And now exactly after that, we're gonna talk about a very important technique in SQL or concepts. It's called common table expression, CTE. This is very important, especially if you have a complex query, it's gonna go and break it into very simple steps. And now moving on to the next section, we're gonna learn amazing technique on how to store our analytical logic or let's say SQL logic in views and as well in temp tables. They are amazing in order to manage your projects. And now the next section is special one. We are not alone, right? We have now AI. So I'm gonna show you how I usually use AI like ChatGPT every day in my projects in order to quickly solve tasks and as well to use it as my free personal assistant. So you're gonna learn the most useful ChatGPT prompts that I usually use while I'm working with SQL. And now the last section gonna be the most important one. After we learned all the advanced topics in SQL and concepts, we're gonna go and implement together a real world project. So what's gonna happen, I'm gonna show you step by step how I usually implement projects using SQL. So with that, you're gonna learn a real skill and not only theory. All right, friends, so that's all. I hope that I got you excited about learning advanced topics in SQL. So join me in this course, we're gonna do amazing stuff in SQL. So let's start with the first topic. Let's prepare your PC with all softwares and data that we need to kick off this course. So let's go. If you like this video and you want me to create more content like this, I'm gonna really appreciate it if you support the channel by subscribing, liking, sharing, commenting, all those stuff gonna help the channel with the YouTube algorithm and as well my content gonna reach the others. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next tutorial. Bye.